Hi. You have a little love in between peace entertainment, me. Um, my name is Harrison McEldowney. I've lived in Chicago for over 20 years, and I'm a part of this tribe, which is why the last piece was so appropriate, because that's what we are as dancers. And uh, in, the, in the energy of that, there's a, there's a huge gap, there's a hole that, uh, that we're hoping to fill in the way that we keep going. Um, uh, I loved that piece because of that. And I, I, a lot of the pieces have struck me in very unique ways tonight. I love that the first piece is called Garbage and Flowers because of the uniqueness of all of these artists that Sarah and that Ron and that Coco Deco has brought together. And the second piece that was around the two girls, the couple, was so profound to me because it was really about cause and effect. The way that that relationship and everything they did affected everybody that was around them. And that's what Ron did for people. And then the third piece was so sort of angelic and choral and filled with these stunning images and it just seems so appropriate to all of it and what I wanted to do or be sure that I was doing was coming out and I know there have been memorials for Ron, not to memorialize Ron, but really to pay tribute to him and to what it is that he started. Uh, for those that don't know, I know Ron, I, was, I had an apartment that somehow ended up a wayward house for like dancers every time a new dancer came to the city and people rolled through there as they were going to companies and Ron lived with me when he moved to Chicago. His mother Gail who's here tonight reminded me that I actually went and slept somewhere else with somebody else so they could all come in and visit their son and they all stay there together for the evening and Ron and I would talk about dance and kind of the uniqueness of it and I, I, I feel and I hope that I can say that that we were the very much the same in the fact that we uh, wanted to carve our own paths and we believed in being very kind of unique in those visions. Our, our vision for that. Um, it also struck me, I love what Lisa said about Coco Deco and what that means. A community of contemporary dance companies. And so with the idea of keep going, I wanted to make sure that there was something unique about the way that I had an opportunity to pay tribute to Ron because his reach is not just inside of Coco Deco, it's vast. You can read about it from University of Arizona to Santa Fe to here in Chicago to a million different places and the dancers that have gone out whose lives he's affected. And I'm actually gonna make sure also at the same time I'm getting cues, like a million things are happening and they're gonna flash the lights when they're ready. So Jim, just let me know when you all are ready. But I wanted to reach out to that community. So as a part of Keep Going, there's been something very unique that has been happening today and that has transpired today. And it was reaching out to all the people whose lives have been affected and touched by Ron and that knew him and the Chicago dance community and getting them to understand that Keep Going, like you hear that all the time as dancers, your teachers tell you to keep going and they're like, in class when you're injured, we're like football players, your foot could be going backwards and they're like, keep going. And on stage you see that, you know, the idea that you have to keep going or that notion and what I wanted to do, and I was so moved by the fact that aside from do it with love, which Ron, as Lisa and everybody said, always says that keep going with love, what can that mean and how can we use that as an opportunity to be sure that we keep going. And so the idea of that is taking that and taking it outside of what it is that we mean when we do that in the classroom and we keep going and you can go ahead and take the curtain out, Jim. But what does that mean in our lives and in the way that we keep going? So what I did is I reached out to these people and I wanted that to be a call to action in our lives and what it is that we do. So across the United States today and in some other places, People that Ron knows came together and they took pictures and they hashtagged them, keep going uh, uh, with love. And they're people, people from, and he's gonna roll through them, I'm not gonna talk, Circle Rivera. And Ron had, had a relationship with Wilfredo Rivera and Circle Rivera. You can keep going, Jim, and just kind of keep rolling and I'll talk about these people. From Bea Rashid, who is here in the audience, and Evanston Dance Ensemble, all the way across the city. Winifred Hahn, who is in New York performing. Uh, you can kind of keep rolling through them. All of these people reached out. The Alter Boys, musical theater, and the idea of keep going was to let even his dancers, Robert Knowles, who Ron knew from Chicago and was profoundly moved by the loss, if you recognize that from when Ron was dancing at intermission from the piece he did where it keeps saying over and over the idea of keep going and keep going with love. We wanted to turn that into a statement about what it is that we do in Chicago Elements Ballet in our lives, that the dancers have the opportunity to keep going, but as dancers, and you can keep rolling through, Jim, we are so incredible incredibly strong in mind and body, but what we don't recognize and what we don't reach out to each other for are the vulnerabilities that exist within us that we don't show people. And we wanted to be sure that the dancers here in the company, the Chicago dance community knew that the idea of keep going is not only about what Ron said, that we want to turn that Michael Jackson won in Las Vegas and Tina Cannon he knew. We wanted to turn that into a call to action 
and a commitment that the dance community will be here for each other, that there will no longer, and we will not accept the unnecessary loss of life and our beautiful artists in this community, that keep going means if you keep going when you're struggling and you're challenged and that you're going through hard times, somebody, one of these people will be there at the end of it, that there won't be the silos and boundaries between us as companies and the different things that we do, that we will be there for each other. Nat Wilson performing tonight and today. All these people are performing this weekend and with that keeping the idea of keep going with Love Alive. Nat Wilson and Braden Barnes who's with the company sent one in. So that is the way that I wanted to honor and I wanted to pay tribute to Ron this evening is with that and that the idea with keep going what his mission was for a community of dance that tonight and today we really represented ourselves. Hubbard Street last night performing who wanted to be a part of this and so desperately wanted to let us know and out in Los Angeles this group to let us know that they were a part of that and they understood that and that tonight they're here with us celebrating that all these lives and the people that knew Ron and affected him. Francisco Avina who choreographed on Coco Deco and I know I'm talking a mile a minute, that that meant something here inside of Chicago, that this moment in time meant something that we didn't walk away from and acknowledge what that was, and also acknowledge what it is, Gail and Sarah, what you all and what Ron gave to all of us. What, happened, what came through that when we all do it with love? What came through this company, which is extraordinary, and seeing these young dancers tonight? And if we keep going, those are the people we have, Braden Barnes, those are the people we have to support and believe in. I'm gonna step down because they're gonna bring the main in and get ready for the next piece. But I wanted you all to see that, and it's continuing online, and I tagged it on Ron's page, that we wanted to be sure that we were making a difference in what it is that Ron recognizes a vision for a community, a community of dancers, and that every day we do it with love and we keep going with love and that we're there for each other. That something like this won't happen again and that these beautiful artists and voices like you're seeing tonight feel supported so that they can keep going on doing that the rest of their lives. They'll flash the lights for me right when the next piece is ready. I'm sure y'all are sick of me hearing me talk now. I did wanna say one thing while they're waiting or that they're making sure that that is ready. I have a belief, it's a spiritual belief and I know everybody has their unique things. Uh, it's a little bit like naturalism, that there are a finite amount of particles that are in the universe. Even when new star systems are created, that is from particles that exist. So that when we move on or that when we pass, those particles or whatever it is that we're made up of. You hear poets and different people philosophize and talk about that we're made up of stardust. But I believe that, that we are. So what Lisa said to me when I walked in, and I know what the people here that are supporting Coco Deco and Ron believe, and his mother and Sarah, is that he'll always be with us. In the way that we keep going, he keeps going. And that part of him and his drive and his passion for this and, and what he gave to people and the vision for uniqueness among dancers and being able to be who you are and express that through your art, that that thing exists. And he's here with us, so I ask you, Ron, that if we're gonna keep going that you do and give us that passion, that energy, everything that was so unique about you as an artist and bring it here to this space with all of us and to these beautiful dancers who are performing his signature work or what I believe that they would call his signature for work for the company CO2. Thank you all very, very much.